Hey everybody, Mike here. So we're gonna re we're gonna repair and resurface this older patio here. We came in the other day and we did this hot tub pad, and they just want to make this other pad look a little bit better. So we're gonna we're gonna clean it up around the edges. We're gonna grind the surface, and then we're gonna coat it with our resurfacing product here. You'll see in a minute. But first thing we got to do is we got to clean out these joints. We got to get the concrete all clean and fix up anything that needs to be repaired and then we can put our coating over it. So that's what we're here to do today. So what we're doing here is we're grinding the surface. The grinding does a few things for us. Um, number one, it cleans it, gets all that dirt off. It uh, kind of smooths out the surface. The surface is pretty worn. This stuff's like 30 years old. You can still see some of the aggregate in it right there. So what that grinding does is it really smooths out the aggregate. So it's gonna make for a lot nicer surface when we get done. You see that there? That's a lot smoother, and it's just going to hold up better with the resurfacing coating on it. Plus, if we if we were to pressure wash this, I mean, pressure washer would clean it, but then we'd have to wait another whole day for it to dry out before we could put the coating on. So grinding it allows us to get all this done in a day. So once we get once we get the uh, surface ground, we're going to. Obviously, we'll uh, blow it off, get all the dust off it, and clean it off really good, get it ready for the coating. We're going to fill in these joints today, too, so we'll do that after. We'll caulk them after with a self-leveling caulking after the coating dries. The coating dries really fast, so we'll be able to get all of it done in, in just today. What we're doing now is we're filling we're filling those joints with this stuff called backer rod it's like a foam and we're pushing that down in that way when we go to put the sealant the caulking in the joints the caulking doesn't all sink right to the bottom because we only need about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch of caulking for it to seal the joint up so we those joints are pretty deep you can see so that back of rod goes in there, it fills up most of the joint. It still allows the slabs to move a little bit if they need to. And you know, the caulking is flexible enough so if they move a little bit, it won't break the caulking. So what we use to resurface the concrete with is a concrete waterproofing coating. It's called Surecrete. We put on two coats goes on at about 100 to 150 square feet a gallon and it's really rugged it bonds really good to the concrete there it is right there use a 3 8 
use an 18 inch three quarter inch nap roller usually to roll it on so this is how we put it on right here This is what we use to fill the joints. Sika Pro self leveling sealant. This one comes in sandstone, also comes in gray. Big caulking tube, but they got the small ones too. So we're going to squeeze this in the joints and then we'll be all done. You filling it right to the top? Uh, I'm leaving it down a little bit. I don't want it to spill over. So that's it, that's the finished product right there. We got this all resurfaced, we got the joints caulked with a self-leveling caulking. So that takes that 30 year old slab, at least makes it look a lot better. And then we got the new slab here for the hot tub coming in. Uh, down the road, I mean, he could 
use the same stuff over here if he wants it all the same color but for now we just wanted to make this thing look a lot better